It's going to be one of those pissed off gearhead things again. But this is another few reasons why not to buy a used turbo kit. Now, I had this nice modify the charge pipe for boss intake. Yes, we offer this. You're going to have to email me or find me on Facebook to do that before your kit ships from on three. I know Steve and a couple others have done it. So, but the problem I have here is whoever had this charge pipe before didn't have the correct math screws like I have for these. And you see how they're not sitting in their square because somebody ran the plastic screws into it from the stock air box. It doesn't work that way, okay? It doesn't work. Some of these aftermarket intakes have little machine screws for them. Like the JLTs, they always have the little screws. But you see it's a plastic screw, not a machine screw. And the proper screws for these are machine screws. So instead of finding the correct ones, you just jammed whatever into the fucking pipe. Fuck the threads up. So now I'm going to tap it after having it after modifying it for the boss intake and have it hydro dip to you know it's black it's got a couple of blue themes i always do a custom touch on a lot of my cars if you'll go back and look through the white cobra i did it's got a ton of snakeskin stuff first choice auto clinic does all my hydro dipping they're fucking superb brian and brandon really knocked this shit out of the park it holds up well too we've literally doused that thing with brake cleaner oil gasoline and everything else and it wipes right up and it doesn't destroy it because they do the process properly. That's why the prices are what they are. Now, dealing with a used turbo kit. I know there's a couple of video, other videos of me ranting and raving, but um, I know one of these turbo housings, the motor let go because there's oil come up through the turbo kit itself. And yeah, maybe I need to clean off the uh, camera here a little bit. Yes, there we go. That's better for everyone. You can see all the oil residue down in there. See that shit? Somebody lost a motor with this kit. <sighs> but now we get to the turbos themselves. You see this oil right here? See this oil in the housing? I can only hope and pray. This is used, as you can see, it's been used. I can only hope and pray that these turbos are good because on three's warranty, 30 days, guys. Most of you won't even have the kit on in that much time that's why if i install it if there's a problem with it we go from the 30 days from when i fire the kit up because i'm literally down the street from them i went into the the bolt fiasco this is the hardware kit these and these lock nuts are the proper ones to lock the turbos down the wiring extension there's extra oil feed bolts here these lock nuts are a must these are the manifold bolts. These fit 11, 12 cars. Some 13s, as we found out in the other video. I sell all the ARP hardware. I literally do four per side. I can get into this video, but I'll make another video later covering setups after I get this car all together. This used kit has been a nightmare, okay? I've had to have a guy repair the top of the intercooler because it was stripped out and had a piece of helicoil in it. Whoever put this kit together, by God, did I see why their car blew up. I hate to say that. Whoever you are that sold Jonathan this kit, fuck you. Anyway, we got the waste gates, firing rings, some of the clamps. Got the stamp shit. And I at least, hey, look, hardware for the X-pipe. We are going to be cutting the down. We're going to be cutting this up. Either I'm going to put turndowns here or I'm more than likely going to cut them here and put turndowns on them. But guys... Don't buy a used kit. I'm trying to outsource the brake, the hoses I can get all day long. It's these fittings. And I actually have the correct fittings to get these in there. And as you can see, I wrap the manifolds, they fit. And this is why you want to test fit it before ceramic coating anything because you want to make sure this stuff clears the body correctly. I've only seen one ever jigged wrong and it didn't clear. So, the AC lines in the back here. We've got ample room down here until we get the downpipe in. And you can see where I started wrapping the lower half of this. Yes, I did the heat wrap and the gold tape around the wiring harness. I did the same thing for the AC line. Of course, I'm missing the O-rings. The black adapter piece is in. 
This used kit has turned into a nightmare. Usually it's a two to three day turnaround for me to install a basic kit on these cars. But this has turned into a massive mess because we didn't know what gaskets, so we got new gaskets, waited for those for four days. Got the intercooler repaired. I've been plumbing, you know, picking away, at wrapping this thing and dipping it and getting it all together. I've got to... Now, the hardest part is done. The manifolds are in. This is probably the biggest bitch other than putting the rest of the hot side in. And I cover this in the write-up really, really well on how to do this. This is why the housing came off. But also keep in mind, I've seen brand new turbos do this one here. One of these bolts always wants to strip I don't know how well you can see this video here but you can see this one's fine this one's kind of foobar I had to take a hammer and a chisel to remove this bolt to get the housing off of it now I can take the housing the shims and the spacer and the proper bolts a little bit of copper RTV on this and bolt this housing down and start putting the down pipes in I gotta prep the other turbo because when I do the hot side I do it all at once so, therefore, the downpipes, the hot side housings get fabbed in with the gate. Not fabbed in. Placed in there loosely with the gate, the upper and the lower portion of the downpipes. Then, what I do is leave all that stuff loose and get the X-pipe in place. Since this has been put together, what I'm going to do is put it all together before I cut it up. And just leave the X-pipe hanging. We remove the whole exhaust from this car. Long tubes are not fun, so don't waste your money on long tubes if you plan on boosting your car. This is just another ranting video for me, so it is what it is. I've got more tech. I know more about this kit than anybody. There's been issues upon issues upon issues, but guess what? They always get sorted out. Here's the oil drain upgrade. I'll be getting into that by itself over the standard stuff. So, as I prepare this hot side to go on and go over these turbos and clean stuff up, you'll be seeing more videos. Hopefully, here before too long, this thing will be together and ready to go for Jonathan. And we can have, you know, Chris Holmes throwing a tune in this thing and see if we can make it run.